Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back again with another mukbang and a horror movie and I'm getting ready to watch Pumpkinhead and eat some keto nachos. Hey guys, oh my god, I am so excited about this meal. Woo. Okay, so I will explain to you guys now how I made this, but first, let me get my drink, which is Diet Dr. Pepper. Oh my God, it's been a while since I've had Dr. Pepper. So I'm gonna have some diet soda. And, oh my God, Pumpkinhead. Haven't seen this movie either in ages. Okay, mm. So keto nachos, what's in it? Hot and spicy pork rinds, ground turkey, mozzarella cheese let's dig in <laughs> oh yum mm. oh my god mm. yummy Wow. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. I don't even want to talk. <laughs> I know it looks like a lot, but it's mostly meat because you know I'm getting that protein in, and I just grabbed the, like a slice of mozzarella cheese, just like low fat, and I just like shred it into pieces and. Put a few on top, but yeah, it's mostly meat. <laughs> mm. The flavor is amazing. I put on my meat, on my ground turkey. I put seasonal, oregano, cumin, garlic powder, onion powder. Um, Frank's Red Hot. Mmm. Really good. Oh. I'm low on ingredients because I still gotta go grocery shopping, but this would be amazing with some shredded lettuce on top or green onions. Oh my god.
So this movie, I really like Pumpkinhead. I also like, I think I like the second one better, Pumpkinhead 2. Really good movie. And this one is the collector's edition. I'll read it later to you guys. <laughs> Mmm, my god. I love these hot and spicy pork rinds. They're so good. So we are allowed to have diet soda on keto, but I don't have it often. It's been a while, so I was like, why not do it for my mukbang? <laughs> Creepy creature. <laughs> Yeah, and I normally try not to do diet soda too much with my meals also because it fills you up faster and I don't want to get full on soda, you know? You know, I gotta slow down because that soda make you burp. <laughs> wow. Excuse me. <laughs> Mm, yeah. <laughs> and that's why I always prefer water with my meals, cause you drink too much soda or too fast. <laughs> that's gonna happen. You know when I was your age, your great grandma used to wash my hands. She was so old. That the skin mm. on the man's thinnest tissue paper felt so good. Oh my god, you guys. So you guys know that since I've been doing keto, basically since day one, I've been doing all my keto nachos. When I do keto nachos, I do it like this with um, pork rinds. Well, now there are these Quest chips. They sell them at GNC. I still haven't tried them. They are Doritos flavored. They have the nacho cheese flavor and the cool ranch. So we could use like a bag of that to make keto nachos. Now, how amazing is that? Like I said, keto just keeps getting better and better. Oh my God. I cannot wait to try those chips. That's gonna be so good. That's gonna taste even more like nachos. Cause, don't get me wrong, they're good. With pork rinds, oh my God, they're so good. But, To get that authentic nacho flavor, I bet with those keto Doritos, 
would taste even better. Wow. Yes, the green one? Okay, I'm gonna put it for you now. Go, boo boo, I'll go now. Wow, you guys, I'm already getting full. I knew if I loaded up on that meat, I was gonna get full, but it's okay because I could always save it for later. Yummy. I'll take a few more bites, but yes, I'm definitely not going to eat all this. <laughs> but yeah, oh my god, you guys. I can't wait to try those. Mmm. Wow. Oh my god. That is a lot of meat. Like you could tell it's only like a few pork rinds here and there, but it's mostly meat. So I try not to put too much cheese either, you know, and I didn't put any sour cream or anything because I'm still trying not to do too much higher fat. And mozzarella cheese is one of the lowest in fat from all the cheeses, so that's why I did just a little bit of that. But I'm done, I'm so full. My God. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm going to save this for later. Let me pause the movie because I don't know if it's too loud or anything. So I could read to you guys. So, okay. Collector's Edition, Lance Henriksen. Pumpkin head. <laughs> Evocate, no, evocative and compelling. A chiller with a terrific monster. Blockbuster guide to movies and videos. Carved into the core of one of the most vivid, stylish, atmospheric, the Hollywood Reporter thrillers of all time. With commentary and six pulpy behind the scenes featurettes, you'll learn how some of the diabolical effects were created and you'll even get inside the mind of the creators of this freakishly frightening film. When a group of rambunctious teenagers inadvertently kill, his only son, Ed Harley, seeks the magic of a backwoods which, which <laughs> to bring the child back. But instead, she invokes the pumpkin head, a monstrously clawed and fanged demon which, once reborn, answers only to Ed's bloodlust. But as the invincible creature wrecks its slow, unspeakable tortures on the teens, Ed confronts a horrifying secret about his connection to the beast and realizes that he must find a way to stop its deadly mission before he becomes one with it forever. And I'm trying to see the year. 1988. Color, 86 minutes. Oh, wow. It's that old? I didn't think this movie was that, that old. Anyway really good movie i love the second one too. anyway oh my god i'm so full you guys all right so i'm gonna go put a game for jacob i hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang and a horror movie and as always please don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload new videos and click in the description box below so you can get a link to all my social media and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys